हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू अ ब्रांड न्यू एपिसोड ऑफ सन ऑफ अ गन द फर्स्ट एंड फॉरमोस्ट डिटेल दैट वुड हेल्प आइडेंटिफाई द मैन्युफैक्चरिंग ईयर ऑफ अ बुलेट मोटरसाइकिल आर द सीरियल नंबर नॉट ओनली डू दे स्टैंड एज अ न्यूमेरिकल इंडिकेशन टुवर्ड्स द स्पेसिफिक ईयर ऑफ प्रोडक्शन दे आर आल्सो एन इंपॉर्टेंट टूल इन वेरीफाइंग द ऑथेंटिसिटी ऑफ द मशीन इफ द इंजन फ्रेम एंड क्रैंक ए सीरियल नंबर्स including their font font size dimensions spacing and location are original then there is a 90% chance that the bike by itself is original another thing to observe is that the original factory stampings would highly improve the market value of your vintage bullet i had uploaded two videos on the topic of g2 model identification one being the engine breather arrangement and the other g2 engine external features yet another video on the subject would be the royal enfield timeline video which showcases the changes that had been incorporated into the bullet over the years i'll add the links to these videos in the description box below given the importance of these serials i had to take my own sweet time to research on this topic and i'm going to share all the information that i've compiled in a series of videos starting with this one Before we proceed I need to mention one thing though it is not entirely impossible to forge the serials in order to pass through the most experienced eyes in the trade if one knows what he is doing this is one reason why we should always make our purchase from genuine sources moving forward i would like to classify the old bullets into four categories the first group would include the earliest g2 motorcycles comprising both U frame and spring frame models Indian and British made. The second category will be the final batch of U frame G2 produced in the year 1962 and all the bolted frame G2 up until beginning of 1969. The third group are the B series comprising of the 1969 model which came with the B/8 serial, the heavy and light crank B series which came with serials starting with B1 and its successor B2. The final category will include 80s and 90s model and everything beyond that will have to wait for the moment. I'm going to start with the second category in this video as the first group is a bit complicated to begin with. For those who are in familiar with the system, I'll give you a quick synopsis. The G2 serial is supposed to be the Redditch manufacturing serial. and the enfield india series is the madras assembly serial even though production began in india by 1957 they still maintained the chronology for some reason by 1964 even the crankcase became indian made the most important thing to note with this class is the constant difference between the g2 and ei series which stands at 38000 also The final three numbers of both the series are exactly the same in this group. Let me begin by showing you a few samples. Kindly note that the whole numbering system works in a chronological order. This particular set is from a 1962 model U frame G2. Thus, if a bullet under study is claimed to be 1962 and the serials are not somewhere close to this number then you can easily understand that it's not original like for example there is a claim to be 1962 model available and it has a stamp g2/63586 or g2/73846 that would suggest a mismatch another important observation is that any original u frame model will have a g2 serial less than 50898 the font is also unique with a distinguishing cut on the numbers 7 3 1 etc the letter g has a characteristic protrusion at both ends 6 and 9 have a wobble at their free ends observing these images more closely would give you a clear picture regarding what exactly to look for in an original factory stamp as we move further up through the years we can see 61659 which would be roughly 
7432 around 1967 and 81082 somewhere towards the end of 1968 I'm hugely indebted to Mr Graham Scarth chairman of Royal Enfield Owners Club London for he's the one who had taught me how to read serials he voluntarily replies to emails seeking guidance regarding model identification and all we need to do is send him photographs It's such a selfless endeavor and we all must be grateful to him. The set of serial numbers on the engine and frame should be similar for an original motorcycle. I hope you all are aware as to where the serials had been punched. Tilt the handle to the right and there you will see the frame serial on the neck. The engine serial could be found on the left side of the crankcase. at an angle between the drive cover and the engine breather now that you have seen plenty original stamps it's time to have a look at some not so original ones i could say for sure that it's easy to detect a re-stamp because 99% of those doesn't resemble the original ones by a long stretch Most of the engine restamping is done out of necessity as they get faded off during restoration or due to age and people tend to match these with the frame serial which doesn't usually fade under normal circumstances. So, my theory is simple. If the engine stamp doesn't look original but the frame stamp and other features match, then the bullet is genuine. And if the frame stamp itself is not authentic, then it's a deal breaker. Thus we have come to the end of the first video in this series. The next one's going to be either group 1 or group 3 based on the feedback that I get from you guys. In the meantime, I'll show you one original stamp and you could contemplate on it and wonder what in blue hell is this. See you all till then.